Birds are everywhere at the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo. Some of the most interactive live in the Australian outback. So, of course, News Channel 15's Tara Brantley decided to learn more about them for this week's Wild on Way. Go ahead. Come on. Come on, guys. Welcome to the world of the lorikeets. These jazzy little birds are native to the land down under. I found the little lorries flying about in the aviary at the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo. Hi. Okay. They're looking high. Right they're not yeah. getting on them, but they're looking No, right no, right they're, right they're more interested in the food right now. <laughs> lorries like eating some of the same things we do, like lima beans, corn, green beans. And as you see, they have no problem coming right on over. These guys usually eat about twice a day. They also get their special nectar, which is a combination of apples, bananas. <laughs> They're pulling on me. <laughs> carrots. Yeah, they like to they like to touch. They like to figure out what's new. <laughs> okay. And uh, some nectar. So they might mix all that together and that's what they uh -huh. get in the morning. Lorikeets are in the parrot family. Their lifespan is 15 to 20 years. The zoo has 14 of them, four are babies. And even though they are related to parrots, Brian says you probably wouldn't want one as a pet because they can get a bit messy. They don't show it too often, but if they put out their tongue, it's actually full of brushes that helps to pick up the nectar a little bit easier. Oh, okay. So if they ever get a chance when they stick out their tongue, it's kind of white and like brushy. It's got mm -hmm. tips on it. Um, they seem pretty friendly. Too. Oh, yeah, they're extremely friendly. Most of them were trained uh -huh. um, when they first started off here to land on people's heads. So you're getting your, your, your head scratched. That's yep. kind of a good deal. Yeah, yeah. Does, like does that hurt, Brian? No, it feels really weird, though. It tickles. Yes, Brian's been with the birds for a while. So how does he determine who's who? He says he looks into their eyes. Since all these guys look the same, mm -hmm. yeah. sometimes you can tell them apart just by the color of their eyes and the way their eyes are. I love looking at them because they're so beautiful. In the Australian Outback with the lorikeets, Tara Brantley, News Channel 15. And don't forget, you can see all of Tara's Wild on Wayne stories and get more zoo information by going to wayne.com. Just scroll down our homepage and click Wild on the directory. And next week, Tara wraps up her time in Australia with a trip to the aquarium.